Hey Bombers, I'm Max. And I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Atomic, Atomic TV. TV. Hi Bombers, and welcome back to the studio. Last Friday, Atomic TV had the chance to broadcast the hydroplane testing session on the Columbia River. I had the opportunity to talk to Miss Home Street's driver, Jimmy Shane, about his career in boat racing. Let's hear what he had to say. Hi Bombers, I'm Max. I'm here with uh, Jimmy. So what boat do you drive? Uh, yeah, Jimmy Shane. Uh, I'm the pilot of the U1 Miss Home Street Unlimited Hydroplane. So, how old were you when you first competed in your first uh, race? Ah, first time I was actually in a race boat. I was eight years old. Uh, so I've been doing it for <laughs> I've been doing it for a while, about 28 years. Uh, it's my 28th year racing boats, and um, I just kind of started really small in the small outboard divisions. Uh, you can actually start when you're nine years old in the junior hydroplane divisions, and then I just always wanted to go bigger and faster. And now I'm in the world's biggest, fastest race boats. So obviously you love racing. Uh, what what keeps you going uh, in this sport? Uh, you know, for me, it's uh, it's still the competition, the competitive aspect of it. Um, uh, this is pretty much the elite uh, tier as far as it's as high as you can go in in any form of, of boat racing and motorsports. And so to just try to stay on top is is really what keeps me going and keeps me driven. Um, and keeping other guys behind me that's that's the biggest thing for me is uh, the, the competitive aspect of it and then we're a big family I mean our team we we get to meet up at the races in the summertime it's a big community we really are more like a family uh, in the summertime than we are a team so it's nice to catch up with everybody uh, we have a pretty long off season and so we're looking forward to catching up with everybody's stories from what they did last year and then uh, Really seeing the cohesiveness, the cohesiveness of the, every single team member coming together at a race weekend and then accomplishing a goal, whether we win or not, we still feel like we accomplished a goal just coming together and seeing the boat run out on the water. Yeah. That's what keeps me going. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I really <laughs> yeah. like that story. So no worries thank at all. you. Thank you. Yeah. Attention swimmers, there will be an informational meeting for Girls Swim and the Dive this Friday at 1.30 p.m. in room 1232. Here's Manny with song trivia. Hey Bombers, it's Manny and I'm back with some more trivias. Let's do it. Today I don't feel like doing anything. I know it's by Bruno Mars, but don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, what's it again? Oh yeah, I give up on that one too. Yeah, I have no idea. The lazy song. Yeah. Oh, it's the lazy song, Bruno Mars. Yeah. Bruno Mars. The lazy song. Lazy song. Nice. If you wanna be my lover, <laughs> you my friend. I can sing the song, so I don't know the title. It's Spice Girl, uh, tell, tell me what you want or whatever. Tell me what I want or whatever. Tell me what you want. I don't know what it's called. Wanna be the Spice Girls? <laughs> it's Wanna Be! Spice Girls. Yep. Yep. Baby, you a song, you make me wanna roll my windows down and cruise. I know this song. I wanna say windows down, but I. <laughs> cruise. Is that correct? This is Cruise, Florida Georgia Line. Yeah. yeah. Cruise. Did you have to say yeah. The name of the song? Yeah. It's Cruise. Good job. Pearl Jam, Eddie Vedder. <laughs> Roll up in the club. All eyes on me. I have no idea. I don't listen to hip hop that much. Uh, all eyes on me. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All eyes on me? Yep. Yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, all eyes on me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I know it, but I don't know the title. I don't know. 
don't know the title. Come on, bro. Really to the I feel like it's called All Eyes on Me. Tupac, All Eyes on Me. Yeah. So what you, what you, what you want? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Stay tuned, Bombers, for more trivias. Now, let's head back to the studio. AHR is giving away free feminine hygiene products for all in Miss Steiner's room 108 starting June 7th and ending June 10th. Now here's your ASB Minute. Hey, Bombers, I'm here with Mr. Ingram, who's going to be talking about his post-retirement plans. So, Mr. Ingram, how long have you been here at Richmond High School? Six years. This is the conclusion of my sixth year here at RHS. And what did you do before coming here? Uh, before I came to Richland High, I worked for 12 years at LIGO, the Gravitational Wave Observatory, out on the Hanford site. And for that, I taught uh, 20 years at a high school in suburban Portland. Oh, nice. And what are some of your post-retirement plans? Well, I told you I have OCD, that's obsessive camping disorder. And uh, yeah, we got to like get that taken care of. So lots and lots of camping. Um, I'll get connected to some volunteer work. Um, I'll, I'll kind of figure it out as I go once I um, get to the end of the school year. And our last question, do you have any parting words of advice or words of wisdom for our students watching? I, over the years, I've had many, many students uh, who's, who, for whom one of their biggest obstacles was their lack of confidence in themselves. They just didn't believe that they could be successful at a high level with, with chemistry or other science classes. And, and I, as the teacher, noticed in many cases that that wasn't true, but it was difficult to convince the students of that. So um, believe in yourselves. You're, you're smart, you're capable, uh, find out what your strengths are, find out what you like, and, and be confident and, and pursue uh, things that seem to be hard. Challenge yourself, because you can do it. You can do it, and your teachers are here to, help, here to help you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ingram, and we're really gonna miss you. Thank you, I'm gonna miss all of you too. Now back to the studio. Here's Ian with Senior Thoughts. Hello everyone, my name is Ian. I just want to say a couple of things before my time is up here at Richland High. So what I wanted to say is for me to the whole Bobby community is that I thank you all for having me here. I know that my time is coming to end to me for being here in school, but hey, once a bomber, always a bomber. But for those who went here with me and talked to me, I couldn't thank you enough for being there when I needed it. Principals, counselors, teachers, and even students. Y'all have played an important role in my life, and I say you did a good job. Those, those who went to school with me during Carmichael, I couldn't thank you enough, especially since you guys made me feel like I belong in such a little time. Friends, and even family, I don't know what I can do or say, except for thank you guys for what have you done. But unfortunately, this is my last show, and that's all I have to say for now, so back to the studio. Now here's your watch and win. Hey Bombers, it's Isaiah with today's watch and win brought to you by Dairy Queen. Today is Tuesday, so we chose a lower class winner to win today's prize. Today's winner is Isabella Balsito. Isabella, please come down to Mr. Murphy's room, room 1060 to get your prize. That's all for today, Bombers. Now back to the studio. Hey Bombers, thank you for coming along this weather journey with Max and I throughout this year. But now that it is coming to an end, let's check out this week's wacky weather. So far, it's not looking too pretty. It's looking like we will have a high chance of showers here shortly. Oh, wow. <laughs> that wasn't what we were expecting, but uh, it's supposed to be very windy as well. Whoa. Oh, man, that was really strong. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Bombers, thank you for sticking with us. Hope to see you guys next year. Now, now back, back to the, to the studio. studio. Have a great week, Bombers. Now please stand for the pledge.